My dear friends, we have special guests for this episode. They are the missionary disciples of Christ, a group of young and not so young people who collaborate with the Office for the Promotion of the New Evangelization of the Archdiocese of Manila. And they will give us wonderful testimonies of following Christ and being missionaries of Christ. What is this program? What is this Missionary Disciple Program of the OPNE? The Missionary Discipleship Program is a special program of the Office for the Promotion of the New Evangelization in response to the call of Pope Francis to build a culture of encounter among our young people. So we gather some committed leaders, volunteers from the Sacred Heart Parish of Santa Mesa and the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. And we want to form them to be not only a disciple and a missionary, but to be a missionary discipleship. This program is implemented in a university and also a parish. So I suppose, Father Mark, you are the chaplain of the uh, Polytechnic University of the Philippines. So the campus program is under your care. May we have uh, some sort of a description of the program from your end, from your side? First of all, uh, uh, Cardinal, some of the students, they need to start from the basics. So we're talking about even catechism. Yes. Catechism, and with that, was a program which is helping us a lot is the Alpha. It's a program that uh, we uh, know about that gives us uh, very basic teachings and it's very appealing to the students. So in a way, it's a way of helping them to encounter Jesus. After hearing the program on campus, it is also present in a parish. And I believe we have a, a seminarian living there, see Brother Ryan. So, Brother Ryan, uh, can you describe to us how this program of disciple missionaries in Christ, of friends of Christ, uh, unfolds in the parish? Yes, Your Eminence, and part of the program for missionary discipleship is also we have a program in the parish, and uh, we call it TAMBAY. TAMBAY is actually an acronym for intended for Tara mo buhayin ang youth. So every Saturday, we have this encounter. We do three things, KKK. So, kain, kantahan, and kwentuhan. So we talk about the, the gospel, Jesus, and also the life of our young people in the parish. Now we want to hear from, from some of them, no? some of the, you, the young people. What uh, inspired you to uh, uh, be part of this uh, movement? And uh, how are you? <laughs> how do you find yourself in this, uh, in this uh, movement? Before po, I was one of the volunteers of PUP Campus Ministry. But now po, I'm a full-time missionary volunteer of Campus Ministry. I want my life to have uh, some meaning. Ang gusto ko po na i-share ko kung ano yung nakuha ko sa campus ministry. Then I decided to be a full-time missionary nung nagkaroon po ako ng a lot of encounter during PCNE. I want to to touch heart, to teach mind, and transform lives. With that experience po, it really um, boosts my, um, my faith din po na mas lalo pong lumalim yung paninu, um, pananampalataya ko. Right now po, I am working now at the New Evangelization Office at the Art Diocese as a finance officer. But more than that, yung pagiging finance officer ko po is uh, I'm not just doing the accounts, but I'm doing the accounts nung sa mga volunteers po in terms of giving and disciple. Through missionary disciple, it's not just about uh, gathering every Thursday night. It's about a gathering every day. And by that, na encounter mo si Christ doon sa, sa mga experience, sa stories na inaibibigay mo. And daririnig mo din yung stories ng ibang kabataan. We 
have heard a wonderful testimony of faith from our young people. Look at how the encounter with Jesus, the person of Jesus, changes one's person. And once you become a friend of Jesus, you cannot stay put. You need to share Him. But see how Jesus works. First, through the family. Today is the Feast of the Holy Family. So every family should be a haven of encountering Jesus. The school community, another family. The parish community, another family. So today, we have learned the lesson. Jesus comes to our young people through intermediaries. The family, the school or university, the parish. We work together to form disciples and missionaries of Christ. Then our young people with generosity, they will go, they will go. We don't need to tell them. And the love of Christ will be preached to many, many people.